Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss an example for finding an nth inverse. So given the function is a quadratic function, so x squared minus 3x plus 3. So question asks us to find the f inverse. Please pay attention. Do remember, you must use a standard form. So step number one, I'll be completing the square for the function fx in order to get a standard form. So fx is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 3. So now I'm going to completing the square. So fx is equals to x square minus 3x plus bracket square minus bracket square plus 3. By referring to the negative 3x and we have to flail up with negative 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2. So finally x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4 plus 3. Simplify the situation, x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4 plus 12 over 4. So finally, we have our fx in the standard form, x minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 3 over 4. Next, we are going to find the f inverse. As we all know, let f inverse x equals to y f y equals to x so we have to substitute or replace the x with y and we will have f y equals to y minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 3 over 4 so what we have to do is to rearrange the situation so that y become a subject. So as we all know, fy actually equals to x. So x equals to y minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 3 over 4. Rearrange the situation. So we will have x minus 3 over 4. So we have a square. So we have to square root both sides. plus minus equals to y minus 3 over 2 so finally y is equals to plus minus square root of x minus 3 over 4 okay plus with 3 over 2 so finally f inverse of x is equals to plus minus square root of x minus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 2. So please take note. Previously we already mentioned, okay, so the domain for f which is a quadratic is a negative infinity until positive infinity. So this one is not one to one function. So as we all know, if the situation is not one-to-one, -one, meaning that there is no f inverse or f inverse does not exist. So for this case, in order to get a one-to-one -one function, the domain has to be 3 over 2 until positive infinity or domain for f is equal to negative infinity until 3 over 2. So we only can choose either one. So let's say if we choose 3 over 2 until infinity, so our situation will be positive. If we choose negative infinity until 3 over 2, our situation will be negative. So either one. So let's say for this case, I pick 3 over 2 until positive infinity. So in order to make the situation become 1 to 1, my f inverse has to be square root of x minus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 2. If my domain is negative infinity until 3 over 2, 
then my f inverse would be negative square root x minus 3 over 2 3 over 4 plus 3 over 2 so this is the inverse function for this domain and this function is for this domain so please take note if the situation is not one to one so meaning that f inverse does not exist so for this case I define the situation it become one to one which is either one so this is the f inverse so now we are going to focus the graph sketching which is a g sketch the graph of f so first referring to the standard form for fx so as we all know the standard form the a is 1 so a is greater than 0 so the shape will be in u shape intercept in order to find the x intercept y has to be equals to 0 so with the help of the calculator so in here we notice that there is no real root okay so now in order to find the y intercept x has to become 0 so if x is equals to 0 so we have 0 squared minus 0 plus 3 so our final answer will be y equals to 3 so we have the coordinate 0 3 so standard form so fx is equals to x minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 3 over 4 so the minimum point will be equals to 3 over 2 and 3 over 4 Okay, so this will be the symmetrical axis which is x equals to 3 over 2 so this will be the range for the f so which is equals to 3 over 4 until positive infinity okay so now let's plot the graph or sketch the graph so as we all know shape is a u shape okay so for the x intercept there is no real root so for the y intercept we have 0 3 so let's say we have 0 1 2 3 okay so next referring to the minimum point so we have 1 over here 2 over here as we all know, 3 over 2 equals to 1.5, 3 over 4 which is less than 1. So our minimum point will be over here. So the graph would be something like this. Sorry. So the graph will be something like this. Okay, so as we all know, for this case, the situation is not one to one. So, if it's not one to one, there is no f inverse. So, if you want to make it become f inverse, so we have to make use of the symmetrical axis. So, meaning that x is equal to 3 over 2. That's why we have to define our situation for the f to be one-to-one -one function so we have two option one is looking forward for the right hand side which is 3 over 2 until positive infinity and the situation become one-to-one -one. or we can use negative infinity until 3 over 2 which is the left hand side of the graph so that the situation become one-to-one -one function so now back to the story follow the domain which is 3 over 2 until positive in infinity so that the f inverse exists 